G'day, my name's Scott Wimble and welcome to this video which is on what is historiography. Many people hear the word and assume it's been made up, or perhaps it's some raging cross-faculty rock band. But in fact, historiography is incredibly important if you like your history to be accurate. So if you look up Google historiography, it'll tell you it's the study of writing history or of written histories. So does that mean for those poor people who find history boring, they actually have to study the people who wrote the history? Kind of. But it's incredibly important. And I'll explain why in, wait for it, the Analogy Auditorium. Copyright. Let's say that I've been asked to create a video recap on a recent music festival. How would I go about this? I would probably start by looking for sources of information. Advertising posters, pictures, video, news reports, eyewitness accounts. Maybe I even went. Once I've done this, I just make the video, right? Well, no. And this is where historiography comes in. And the first of two important processes. The first is the interpretation of sources. You see, like all people, I'm biased. That doesn't make me evil, it just means I have different opinion on things than other people. So I might like uh, one band more than another. I might prefer one type of music than another type. I might have gone to the festival perhaps and hated it. Or I might have something against the company that sponsored the festival. Regardless of, of what it is, that bias obviously affects the way that I see the sources. So in interpreting the sources, the biases that I have and I'm bringing to the table will obviously affect the way uh, that I eventually get a picture in my mind of what the festival was like. So two people could see the exact same sources and form two different pictures in their minds. Now that I've got these sources and a picture in my mind of what the festival was like, it's time to create the video recap. Now this process of creation is just as crucial as interpreting sources. And a couple of things will affect this process. The most important of which is, what kind of video was I asked to make? In other words, what's the purpose of me creating this? Because obviously that's going to affect what the video will end up looking like. Is it a video designed to advertise for the festival for next year? Or one to kind of summarise what happened so that people can come and, and, and watch uh, who maybe went to it? Very different videos based on the purpose. So, as I <coughs> make the video, as I choose the photos and the sources to put in there, I'm going to have not just in my, my mind's eye what I remember from the interpretation of my sources, but also the purpose that's driving this whole project. On top of that, once I've chosen which sources to use for the video, which obviously my bias is affecting, I'm also going to put them in certain ways. So the order in which I put the photos will affect what the video will look like. The, the music I pick for the background will affect what the video will look like. In fact, I can change the, the pace of the video, the feel, the tone. I can make the video look very, very different to a video someone else has made of the exact same music festival. So this process of creation is actually incredibly important when we're looking at how something gets made. So to summarise, in creating this video recap, my bias helped me form a picture in my mind of what it was like based on sources that I found. I then chose different sources based on the purpose of my video. And finally, I packaged them together based on my, what, what has influenced me to have a final product. To put it another way, 20 people could have been asked to do the exact same thing and could produce 20 very different videos of the exact same music festival. This is important because it's exactly the same when we're creating history. 20 historians can look at the same event 
and come up with 20 different narratives of what occurred there and why it's important. So when we're studying history, historiography is important because we need to look at the person writing the history, what influenced them, what their biases were, what the purpose was, and how did they package that information. It's only then, using historiography, that we can see how accurate our history actually is. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the uh, comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. Hopefully I've been as clear and maybe perhaps entertaining as possible. Thanks.